Okay, if you also, this is the um, screen here you know, of the Sanyo CRT slash Samsung CRT. It's got a neat up all these sharp edges. Uh, here's the uh, blade torch method, scroll to glass and just blade torch along the weld line here but it was glued together. And that seems to have uh, cracked the um, back half away. Relatively safe, I can file this down. And uh, they're still quite sharp. They have a nice spare blast shield. That's the back half of the aperture grill. Aperture grill got slightly damaged. Glass bit hitting it. Dot there, a dot there, a dot there, and a little dot there. I think they're used to align at the yoke, so it uses your reference points when servicing the TV. Quite a solid little bloody bit of um, solid frame for a Samsung CRT. I'm going to do what um, ain't big, ain't clever suggested. I'm going to get the welder, let's arc it out, and burn nice patterns through the aperture grill. That'll look quite uh, cool. Burn a couple of pixels. Yeah, bit of get this thing file up and we'll set this up as another second blast screen in case one of them gets broken or something. It's quite thick, it's about 12 mil thick in the middle there, judging by the reflection between the front and the back, the thickness of the glass. You see this mark here, the phosphors, those phosphors are actually blown off from the uh, force of the uh, vacuum as I uh, vented the CRT. I just snapped the, um, the, the gun assembly off. And it, the intensity of the, um, the vacuum, or the air atmosphere, rushing into that screen, or in the CRT, was quite hard. It actually blew the phosphors off, even with the um, aperture grill in place. So it's had quite a significant amount of vacuum in it. That's quite a... That should stop stuff flying at me as well. Alright, I might do this to the um, re-round MOT. Let's see what happens. This will arc out quite nicely too. Make shims out of that. It's like a coke can but made of steel. Okay, the oars are voltage is a bit too low for a while this long, but let's see what happens. Cool. Melts of copper. Burning some pixels out. Yep, cable's got lower resistance, so it's going to get hotter than the um, aperture grill does. Interesting. Burning some pixels. So if I write my um, YouTube name on here. The other two letters on in here. It's getting a bit hot. Oh, ow. Getting way too hot. Oh, that gets quite hot. No, I can't fit the last H on. There you go. H to XFH. Go right, pretty, uh, draw pictures and stuff on it. Cool. Okay, if yours is a better setup, let's go and get some more amps now. Power on. There you go. Got me down there. Look at that. Oh, too fast. Still consumes a lot of amps. The wire gets quite hot. Thicker rod is a better option. The ouch. The first two letters didn't work out too badly. Ooh. 
Interesting. Destroyed some pixels in the process. That let too much sparks accumulate. I gotta find somewhere to put their solar hessian. Not the best place to do this experiment, but it's all I've bloody got at the moment. This is such low voltage, I can only um can't afford to run long uh, cable off this. It's only about one yeah, it'd be about three and a half to four volts there, so it's the best I can do with this little uh, transformer. I might power off. It got quite warm. Okay, we always talk about serious phosphor burn, even burns the aperture grill. The shadow mask. That's pretty much totaled. Uh, there was a shy another TV I got today.